Hello? I can't believe I caught you. Oh, Kristen. Yeah, I had to pick up some sketches on my way to Spectra. Ah. Well, thanks again for lunch. My pleasure. What's up? A lot, actually. That's why I wanted to find you. I have some good news and some bad news. Sounds ominous. Uh, let's hear the good news first. The good news is I'm standing here looking at your design. We've started working on the muslin. Are you kidding? Well, it's about time. <laughs> Which brings me to the bad news. And it really isn't all that bad. Dad's decided to switch fabrics and hold off for the fall collection. What? Wait, this may work for us. We've really been pushing it, trying to be ready for summer. And this way, we can take our time and make sure we give the best possible presentation. I think it's a blessing in disguise. Besides, we have no choice, right? Right. So do you want to come on over here and take a look at your creation, taking shape? I have to warn you, it's only in the muslin. It won't look that great. I wouldn't miss it. I'm on my way. Oh, Stephanie. Oh, this is bad timing. I can see that you're going to go someplace else. No problem. Come on in. No, I really, I, I don't want to keep you. It's, it's all right. It's okay. It can wait. Besides, I always have time for you. What's up? Oh, it's just been a hell of a day. <laughs> Clark, I need to talk to you, and I just didn't have any place else to turn. That's what I'm here for. What's happening with this investigator of yours? Nothing, absolutely nothing. It's just a dead end at every single turn. No luck finding this woman's husband? I don't know what I'm going to do. I really don't want my marriage to end. And I'm just beginning to believe that that a divorce is inevitable. I feel as though my world is... I feel as though it's coming down around me. I don't think there's anything I can do. Hey. It's all right. Stephanie. I'll always be here for you. That's what you need. No. Yes. Clark, please, OK? I can't handle anything like that right now, all right? You have feelings for me. Don't deny it. I have to deny it. Please, listen to me. I'm trying to fight for my marriage and my life and my world as I know it. And I guess I just, I made a mistake coming. I should Stephanie, no. I'm a friend. I want to help. If, as you say, I'm the only one you can talk to, don't turn away. Go home. But know that I'm here when you need me. No pressure. No expectations. Just a man who cares very much. Thank you, Clark. All right, where is it? Not even a hello? Hello, beautiful. Just where is this creation that's going to change the course of fashion forever? You mean this old thing? Oh, wow. I can't believe it. I still can't believe it. 
You really don't cut your corners around here, do you? You never see this kind of workmanship over at Spectra. So what do you think? Is it as good in the flesh as it was on paper? You tell me. Better. My design. Clark Garrison's with a Forrester label. It boggles the mind. And you made it possible. Not so loud. No one knows. You're pretty fabulous. Did I ever tell you that? I think I'd like to hear it again. You are absolutely incredible. Garrison. A ridge. Nice to see you again. You got a minute? Uh, just about. What can I do for you? A seat. I assume you're here to see Kristen. You two are pretty tight these days. Your sister's one terrific girl. Yes, she is. Tell me a little about yourself. I still don't know much about your background. A native Californian, right? That's right. You go to school out here? Otis Parsons. On a design scholarship. My parents didn't have the money to invest in a higher education. How about after college? I had a few jobs. And now you're working for Spectra. But then you knew that. You know, around here, mentioning Spectra is like using profanity. I can understand that. Oh, then you know about the plagiarism that your company's pulled. It's not my company. But you work there. It's got to say something for your allegiance. It's so easy for you, isn't it? You never had to work for anything like I have. It was all given to you by birthright. Well, that's not the way it works for all of us. I've had more doors slammed in my face in a week than you'll have in a lifetime. OK. So Spectra steals designs. And I work for Spectra. I guess that's guilt by association. But I have to work somewhere. I needed a chance. I tried Forrester. I didn't get past your receptionist. Where I come from, we take our breaks where we can get them. Well, that brings us right back to my sister. Good day, Mr. Forrester. Garrison. I'm not finished yet. I still want to talk to you about my sister, Kristen. What about Kristen? I'm just wondering where your thinking is, where she's concerned. Don't you think that's between Kristen and me? You have some problem talking about my sister with me? What would you like to know? You've been seeing more and more of her. Is that a problem? I don't know, is it? You've lost me, I'm afraid. Well, for one thing, you're a designer. There's a lot to be gained by getting close to my sister. If you think that's why I'm dating Kristen, there's also a rumor going around about you. A rumor? About you being involved with another woman. Are you seeing someone else? It's possible. How serious is it? Not very. Ridge, I've been very open about this other relationship with Kristen. Keep in mind that we've made no specific commitment. It happens that I care for her a lot, but 
We've never said anything about a more serious relationship. At least not yet. Don't ever hurt her. I don't intend to. And don't ever lead her on. Why would I do that? You're looking at a very close family, Garrison. You mess with one of us, you mess with all of us. Keep that in mind where my sister's concerned. I guess that about does it. See you around. You said last night there was something that you wanted to talk to me about. Is this a good time? As good a time as any. Dad came to see me last night. Oh. I'm sure you know what he wanted to talk to me about. What I don't understand is why you didn't tell me yourself. Are you talking about your father's plans for divorce? After last night, I have to assume that it's gone way beyond the planning stage. Dad sounds like he's made up his mind. I was served with the divorce papers yesterday. Then it really is happening. According to your father. I don't have an attorney yet. You think that's wise? You're going to need representation. When it's necessary. Mother, if you're talking about stopping him at this point, I don't see how you can. I tried to at least get him to reconsider, but I didn't get past first base. Well, you know what they say, honey. The opera ain't over till the fat lady sings. Meaning what? Meaning I haven't played out my hand yet. Well, it may be too late for that. Mother, I'm sorry, but I asked him if there was another woman. He didn't deny it. You didn't tell him that I think there's another woman. No, of course not. But are you sure you want to hang on to Dad under these circumstances, even if it was possible? Ridge. There's a difference between loving and being in love. I am in love with Eric. I have lived with him all of my adult life. He's fathered my children. I can't imagine my life without him. So believe me when I tell you I'll do anything I can to keep him. You know, I honestly don't believe I was ever given a fair chance in this marriage. There was always the memory of this woman. There's like a shadow between us. All of these years, and I never knew what it was. I honestly have to believe that if she's no longer a factor, it might make a difference. What are you saying? How can this woman no longer be a factor in Dad's life? I have said too much already. Please, honey, I have to do this by myself, all right? Will you promise me something? Will you promise me that you won't tell your brother and your sisters? Are you sure you know what you're doing? I just hope it pays off. You are some kind of woman, do you know that? <laughs> You know, I'd give anything in the world if your father would say that to me. I'll beat the office if you need me. <laughs> 